how the hell do I go from this to this within like a span of 40 minutes? None of my worst exes played with my feelings this much. Like none of them betrayed me this much. I am a grown woman in her mid 30s and I'm getting emotional over pirates fighting a guy named Crocodile. And now I'm about to do a deep dive of a desert empire called Alabasta. By the way, is it Alabasta or Arabasta? Because I did a lot of research before this because I forget like everyone's names, right? A lot of the sites said Arabasta. I don't like how it sounds, so I'm gonna go with Alabasta, but if you guys know which one is like the correct way of saying it, um, let me know because I'm just curious. Now, this is not going to be our usual One Piece update video. It will be much longer. I have so much to say. So grab a snack, get a drink. It's going to be really long. And also, if you don't want any spoilers, this is episodes 121 and up. But like, if you don't want any spoilers in general, just please don't watch my videos. The whole point of this video is for me to go through all of the episodes and talk about them. So obviously, there's going to be spoilers. Okay, so first of all, Luffy starts fighting Crocodile with his water machine thing that he made and that part was really fun and comical he was beating crocodile's ass or tail or whatever he has and like when he came to catch vivi when she was thrown off the wall like it was like perfect timing everything was great right like we all know luffy's gonna win and we're just trying to see how he's gonna win meanwhile vivi convinces the royal army to raise the white flag and this is exactly uh, what i'm watching this is when koza gets shot by one of um crocodile's minions so as you can see i am in complete shock my mouth won't shut and in japanese when you're really surprised there's this phrase called aitakuchi ga fusagaranai which literally translates to my mouth literally won't shut and that was exactly what i was doing and I was very upset as you can see. So that happens and now everyone's running in all different directions to find the BOMB that is going to destroy the whole city. And I'm going to be using like TikTok friendly language because lately they have been like taking down videos and banning people for literally saying the wrong words. So I'm going to be using words like BOMB and pew pews and slicing things to explain what's going on, okay? So anyways, the characters here are just super optimistic because they're like, oh my god, the BOMB is going to go off in eight minutes. We still got time. Mm, no, you don't because it takes me eight minutes to go to my nearest convenience store, but I love the positivity. But then all of a sudden somebody pew pews Birdman. Birdman is one of Vivi's royal crew and he's the only one who can fly. He's the only one who can like fly around and look for the BOMB. And then all of a sudden Vivi is like, oh my god, I know there's this one place that they can hide a BOMB that size. Vivi really tends to leave out the most important information a lot. So at this point they only have like a minute to get to the top of this gigantic clock tower and everyone's like going through buildings, like breaking them and tr just trying to get there right but somehow they make the impossible possible and they manage to stop the bomb almost now before i get into all the emotional parts i just want to talk about like alabasta as a whole i really liked it and it was a little long but i was just thinking like if crocodile had all of that power to make everything like dehydrated and make everything into sand i was like he could have just probably done that to like every single person and then just keep the people who he needed and threaten them that you know like he's going to do the same thing to them but that defeats the whole like purpose of this storyline so um pretend you didn't hear that anyways moving on um, Nico Robin gets betrayed by Crocodile, which I saw it coming. Crocodile and Luffy has their last battle, which I didn't know at that time. Crocodile gets out his little poison hook that he probably stole from like Captain Hook or something. Um, but it doesn't work. This is probably like exactly the part where Luffy's like kicking his ass. And at this point, all I'm thinking in my head is who's going to be playing Crocodile and how is he going to play Crocodile because in the live action because this is so important. Like I know the cast is already chosen so we can look him up or something, but I'm just like really curious how the guy's gonna like play crocodile because like this will be the first time i'm gonna be watching the live action after the anime so now i can have like opinions and how they recreated it because last time i couldn't do that anyways um from my expressions i can see that we're almost getting to the emotional part so let's start talking about it i actually didn't speed that part up like the other parts because you can actually see in my face the shock and the sadness and the devastation and literally like just everything it's the part where Birdman, hold on, let me get his name. Pell. Pell takes the BOMB that we thought we disarmed, which actually wasn't, and he takes it. He takes it 
and flies up so that he can save Vivi and the rest of the people. And in these scenes, I cannot stand the flashbacks, the flashback memories of Vivi and Pell and the other dog guy and the cinnamon roll guy and the dad and I just I just I just can't handle it like I'm literally living through each character's life and I am like feeling exactly what Vivi's feeling what the Birdman guy is feeling like he says something along the lines of like I am the protector of Alabasta and its people I can't like I I cannot it's like the same feeling as like a mother or a father trying to save his children and his family and their home and doing whatever he can to save them, sacrificing his life. Oh, and I forgot to say that the other royal crew, like, you know, the guy that turns into a dog, he also did that for Vivi. The cinnamon roll guy, he also did that. Like, he's been doing that for the whole time. Everyone's trying to protect her and Vivi's trying to protect the kingdom. And it's all, you know, very heartwarming. I did watch this a little while ago, so I'm not actually sure if the dog, the dog man, the dog guy, um, is still alive. I actually do know that the bird man survived, which I was so happy to see. I have absolutely no idea how he survived that, but I think I'm gonna talk here because I'm just like in shock. Okay. So. I guess everyone's sacrificing their lives. <sighs> I'm gonna watch one more and <sighs> go to bed, I guess. That was the worst comment anyone can do on a scene like that. I just had no words, so that's gonna be my excuse. That part was absolutely unnecessary, but I can't cut it out right now at this point because I'm gonna lose all the voiceover, so sorry about that. But at the same time, my goal is to give you guys a raw reaction of all these episodes, and it's kind of impossible to do that if I'm thinking of what to say or how I'm gonna say it because I can't give you guys an honest reaction if I'm constantly thinking of how to say things. So to wrap things up, I absolutely loved Alabasta. Again, it was a little long. I'm super excited for the next arc. I know that Nico Robin is going to join the crew. I am praying that nothing bad happens to Chopper. And again, thank you guys so much for joining me on my journey and I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. I hope it's gonna get better and better. I am loving One Piece. I am officially like a big fan. I am really hoping that nothing bad happens to Chopper and Sanji. But anyways, see you guys in the next arc and have a great day, everyone. Bye!